just speak slower. Breathe. If advice like that were helpful, you wouldn't be watching this. The good news is, is that slowing down and speaking at a controlled rate, it is a choice that you can make and you can do it once you have effective strategies and you've practiced those strategies, especially under times when you feel nervous or pressure. Here's the first strategy. Pause at the end of a thought group. A thought group, it's like a lasso that holds a unit of words that go together. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to identify thought groups so that you'll know when to pause. We're going to start off by watching an example of someone who does this strategy well. And for sentences, we can't do this mostly because the way that we make sentences is often very different in different languages. For example, the word order might be different. And Anna from the English Fluency Journey, she pauses well when she speaks. And therefore, she has an excellent control over her speaking rate and clarity. The second tip is to stress the focus word within each thought group. The act of thinking about and deciding which word do you want to stand out more than the other words. Even that process will slow down your speaking rate. We're going to watch an example where this speaker does this well. That's not my rich life. I don't want to go anywhere near an RV. But I love and I admire that they designed their own rich life for themselves. My rich life's very different. Karen Taylor from Blue Canoe and Color Vowel, she repeats that rhythm of English chant. And she, she does that to show the difference that slowing down the rate by using more time on peak vowel sounds to show the difference that that makes. Before we practice these three techniques, I'm going to show you a visual to help you remember each one. Begin at the base of the triangle. You pause after the thought group. Within the thought group, there's one focus word to stress. And within that focus word, there's a peak vowel sound to lengthen. I'll do a quick example. If I was going to recite this phrase, pause after the thought group. Pause after the thought group. The words to highlight would be pause and thought. Pause, pause after the thought group. You give it a try. Pause after the thought group. I'm going to practice this technique with you using three utterances from the Blue Canoe app. Blue Canoe has hundreds of utterances that are functional, meaning these are utterances that you might actually say or ask. The great thing about this app is that every utterance is already divided into thought groups. And each focus word and peak vowel sound is also highlighted. Everything is done for you. Unlike this practice, this needs your participation. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the first utterance and I'll go through the practice steps while demonstrating it with this utterance. I don't think that's always the case. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to repeat this. It's through this repetition that you're going to start to hear where are thought groups divided. And that's how you're going to know where to pause. So the sentence was, I don't think that's always the case. I don't think that's always the case. I don't think that's always the case. Close your eyes and listen even deeper. I don't think that's always the case. Next, we're going to look at which words were stressed as the focus words. Think 
always and case. There is, notice the pattern. These are the final words for each thought group. Now I'm going to move into the practice, meaning spending more time on the peak vowel sounds for those three focus words. I'll use my open hand and extended arm to cue for how long to spend on each peak vowel sound. Think, always, case. I don't think, that's always the case. Now I'm going to try all those strategies together for that sentence. Think, always, case. I don't think, that's always the case. All together. I don't think that's always the case. I don't think that's always the case. I'll repeat that and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to use the strategy, the first step when you're speaking spontaneously. I'm going to come up with different words that are going to fit that rhythm. Here we go. Think, always, case. I don't think that's always the case. I don't think that's easy to say. I don't think that's the end of the story. I don't predict there's enough true facts. Did you come up with any other example utterances? I would love to hear that. Moving on to example number two, and it's going to go quicker because I won't, I'll just show you those practice steps. I'm sorry, but I just don't agree. I'm sorry, but I just don't agree. Eyes closed. I'm sorry, but I just don't agree. I'm sorry, but I just don't agree. Let's check out which words were focused on in that sentence. Notice the highlighted focus words. Sorry, just agree. Again, each of these came at the end of each thought group. Maybe the word just was a bit of a surprise for you. Is this a word that you typically highlight? Let's practice them. Sorry, just agree. I'm sorry, but I just don't agree. All together. I'm sorry, but I just don't agree. I'm sorry, but I just don't agree. I'm sorry, but I need to cancel. I'm sorry, but I'd like another table. I'm afraid, but I'd like the truth. Any other ways that you could substitute different words for that utterance that would still fit that rhythm? Moving on to the final example using blue canoe. That is a deal breaker for me. That is a deal breaker for me. Close your eyes. That is a deal breaker for me. This one's a bit of a surprise. I probably would have thought pause after the word that. That is a deal breaker for me. Or just pause after deal breaker and me. That's a deal break that sorry. That's a deal breaker for me. What about you? Okay, I'm going to repeat it with the pattern. That is a deal breaker for me. That is a deal breaker for me. Let's see which words were highlighted with that sentence as the focus words. That deal breaker me. Again, maybe the word that is a bit of a surprise that it was highlighted. And the word, notice the word deal breaker. A word can be its own thought group. That is also a bit surprising. That is a deal breaker for me. Let's practice all of the strategies together and then I'm going to use different words with that same utterance rhythm. That is a deal breaker for me. 
That is a deal breaker for me. That is a deal breaker for me. That is a deal breaker for me. That is a challenge for me. That is a strength for you. That is one problem for sure. Any other examples using that rhythm? As you can see, practicing with the text and then trying out some words that you come up with. That's the first step to being able to identify thought groups in your own speech. I've got some more takeaways because a lot of the English teachers are showing how to slow down your rate using thought groups, using text. But my question for you is, well, great, but how does this work while I'm trying to come up with what to say and somehow know where to divide up thought groups and where to pause? I can almost promise you this. The more that you practice with text like the Blue Canoe app and also while you're listening, just try to pr practice along. Oh, where do they divide up their thought groups? And notice, where do they pause? This is how eventually it's going to become almost intuitive. You're just going to start to hear the rhythm of English. Where are words divided into thought groups? And know where to pause. This is similar to initially you're going to need to think about and decide which words are you going to stress as the focus words. And again, the more that you do this, it will become intuitive. Similar to when Ramit Sethi speaks, it's like he just knows, you know, his emotions come out and his intention just automatically highlights those words for listeners. And the third one is getting used to the habit of extending your hand, ex sorry, extending your arm and opening your hand that's going to cue you for how long to spend pronouncing peak vowel sounds. Eventually, this will turn into a gesture. So it's also teaching you where you're going to gesture later on. I'll end with that visual. Put it into your mind so that you will automatically know what are those three steps that are going to help you speak slower and clearly. Pause after each thought group. Stress to highlight the focus word within that thought group. And lengthen the peak vowel sound. That's how you're going to stress the focus words.